that we're done with the makeup artist and wardrobe, we're ready to move on to the lighting section. And if you're like I used to be with studio lighting, it can be a little intimidating. When I first started doing it, I was very intimidated. I didn't know what to do. In fact, the first shoot that I ever did with a model was pretty bad. It was scary. But after you do it a time or two, things start feeling more comfortable. And what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to use one light as well as two lights. And uh, let's start with the setup of one light and I'll show you what you can do. Okay, let me have you turn and look that way. Chin down just a little. There you go. Enjoy. Alright. Um, turn your body all the way to the wall and then look back over to this other shoulder. Another really important thing, in my opinion, is mutual respect between the photographer and the model. You don't want her to feel uncomfortable about anything that you're doing, and you don't want to feel uncomfortable about anything she's doing. So it's always important that if there are hairs out of place or anything like that, that you get the permission of the model to go in and fix those things. If you only have one light to work with, there's a lot that you can do. And one idea is to change the angle of the light and bring it in closer to the model or take it further away. As you can see here, just changing the angle of the light is something that can change the drama of the shot. Go ahead and look straight up into the light. Do you want me to fix it? Or is that no, okay. Chin up a little bit. There you go. Eyeballs are just a little to the left. There you go. And look here. This Head up a little bit more. And so like kind of face this way? Yeah. Right. Once you've got the shots that you were hoping to get, it's time to have some fun. Let the model relax a little bit and have a good time and see what you can come up with. If the model is wearing a dress that's flowy, I always like to have them spin and do some fun things with, with the bottom of the dress. It adds to uh, the funness of the shoot and the models really like that. You can use just one light and get a lot of drama with the image. But if you have access to a second light, you can change the drama of the image a lot more also. Take a look at what we've been able to do with two lights. Hopefully today you've learned a few things that will help you out photographically the next time you shoot with the model. And the most important thing to remember is to experiment and have fun. Go for it.